17th, it doesn't have to be acknowledged on that day. You know, it could be a week later, a month later. You know, it's something that we're going to celebrate regardless. Last week was Juneteenth, a day that celebrates the end of slavery in the United States. Springfield was going to have a celebration walk last Saturday, but because of the weather, it was rescheduled for today. Our David Chazanov shows us tonight that the celebration could not be bound by a date on the calendar. Well, today's Juneteenth Freedom March starts from City Hall going all the way to Washington Park. It's a 30 minute walk, but it's one big party, as you can see right behind me. In my belly, I'm just so happy that we can come out here and have a lot of time together. You know, it's everybody, every race, every age. It doesn't matter. United Community! Yay! United Community! Yay! Jamia Jones organized the walk. We stopped at the City Hall. We stopped at the Judicial Courthouse. Yay! We stopped down Commercial Street. Every stop that we took was a way for the individual to imagine and put themselves into the body of the enslaved African American who had to take that walk and make many stops to find out exactly where they were going to settle and finally be free. The idea is that because of them we stand today and we should always hold this day up high. Christine Peoples led dozens of people in prayer about unity and love. We must unify and understand that the next generation, that's why we're here, so that they won't have to go through the same things. People said she was encouraged by today's turnout. Look how amazing that they are. This is family. Look at this. I mean, this is where it's at. We want family and we want community to be secured for the next generation. So we have to bring it back and bring it back community. We stand together for the whole. After the walk, people gathered here in Washington Park for some guest speakers, musical performances, and there was also a tent set up to get people registered to vote. Reporting here in Springfield, David Chazanoff, Ozarks First. And of course, Juneteenth normally celebrated on June 19th, and it marks the day that the final slaves in the United States were freed all the way back in 1865.